I've seen this performance 8,000 times and I have yet to be able to stay in my seat, not get my wig thrown off, but I can't because Celine Dion is too good of a singer. She sings everything off. You better sing, Celine. Hi friends, your buddy Gilbert here with a very special video. Before we get started, real quick, if you are new here, please take a moment to head over to that subscribe button and smash the bajangles out of it and ring the bell so that you can get notified the next time I drop another exciting video just like this one. As probably all of you know by now, I'm a pretty big fan of that one singer, Celine. Salani Dijon, I think is her name. Wait, Salani. Salani. I'm just kidding. Celine! I had to make sure you guys were all still awake. You know I love her. My favorite song of all time by her may or may not be this one, I Surrender. I've seen her in Vegas many times. Whenever she sings this song, I go completely batch crazy. What I find so interesting is that she's performed this song in Vegas throughout a couple of the different variations because the show has changed many times, but this song has kind of went the distance. And it's so interesting because as we all know, this was never a single. This never had a music video. It's one of the big mistakes of Celine's career. Well, we blame her team, right? It's not really Celine's fault. Sorry. If you're a part of her team and you're watching this, listen, a real fan, we have earned the right to get a little bit hood. Uh, we love you for everything going on with the HD restoring of the original My Heart Will Go On music video. But I Surrender should have had a music video. We're just gonna uh, tell it like it is and keep it real around here. So it was with extreme excitement that I am going to give a reaction to something that I've watched probably hundreds of thousands of times. So I'm not gonna pretend like it's my first reaction. I watched it earlier today, but we're gonna watch it together <laughs> and then I'll give some thoughts at the end, okay? Let's watch I Surrender. Why are you so beautiful, Celine? When I watch you look at me, I think I could find a way. Stand for every dream and forsake this solid ground. I love how there's a T sound at the end of ground. What would happen if they ever knew? That black dress is everything. I'm in love with the chandelier. See, she already knew Sia. Cause I surrender everything to feel the chance to live again. Reach to you. Come on, Celine. I know you can feel it too. We'd make it through. A thousand dreams I still believe. I'd make you give them all to me. Look at the passion she sings with. Flick that dress. Oh my God, Celine, you slay. Look, they're just, they're just worshiping God because of the gift he's given her. See them that they're up there. They're having church. I always used to say that Celine's voice stops time and this proves it. From this fear, I will See how she nods to herself? She's like, I got this. I live again with love. You know they can't take that away from me. 
Let's hear the riff, Celine. And they will see. I've got something to say about production on these vocals at the end. Be afraid, Team Celine. Be very afraid. I'm very honest. You better sing, Celine. Slap that chest. Only you, Celine. Only you. I know you can feel it too. We make it through. The thousand dreams. I still believe. I'm making them all to me. I'll hold you in my arms. In the heart of I surrender. The resonance on that note. Come on, Celine. Right here, right now, I give my life to live again. I'll break free. Take me, my everything. I surrender all to you. Right now, right now, I give my life to live. You guys are about to hear a very inhuman note. This proves that she's not immortal. Listen to this last note. You guys aren't ready for this. Listen. That was amazing too. Here we go. insurance Celine oh you guys really Celine really girl listen I've seen this performance 8,000 times and I have yet to be able to stay in my seat, not get my wig thrown off. It's my good wig too. But I can't because Celine Dion is too good of a singer. She sings everything off. I'm so mad at her. So mad at her. Okay, but we gotta keep, we'll keep this. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Actually, have no hair. <laughs> this ain't a good look. Hold on. Back to what I was saying about production, right? Those of you that have seen her in concert live know that what I'm saying is true. They add some effects to her voice. They kind of strip it down a little bit. And I think they add like a little bit, a li it's very lightly noticeable, but it's almost like auto-tune almost. And what's infuriating is that Celine doesn't need that on her voice, right? Like I think it was David Foster, sorry. I think it was
was David Foster that said that he's just never had to auto-tune her because she sings with perfect pitch. And yet I know that it's like the cool thing to do and they're probably thinking, oh, it needs to sound perfect for the DVD. But I actually was going to bring my DVD back. I actually thought that I had like a bogus DVD because when I put it in and I heard I Surrender, when she hits that riff, you know, like um, this part. Yeah. It almost sounds like she's trying to, like her voice is hitting the roof of the pitch. Yeah. And you can't, re it's muddled. You can't really hear the vibrato. You can't really hear the inflections, the flippings of the notes, the bouncing of the notes, the way that you do, not only on the album version, but when you're live in the room with her. Yeah. It's almost like that. It sounds kind of pingy. You know what I mean? It just doesn't sound natural. Yeah. And then it happens again when she belts, I surrender, and climbs the scale in the full belt. I surrender. Where is the bouncing of the notes? I, I am I crazy or are, do you guys hear it too? It's not, it's, it's almost, it's like it's pulling it down. Like as she's getting up, the technology is pulling her note back down. So it's like not riffing. It's not going up and down like it's supposed to. It's almost like it's just like bouncing on the same tone. It just doesn't sound right. I don't know who engineered this or sound designed this concert on DVD, but that's what I'm like giving some sass and shade to Team Celine. Because when you have Celine Dion singing, you don't have to do anything. Babyface, when he was recording her, he was saying that like she's a producer's dream because he barely even had a job because she sings everything perfectly. Like she has perfect pitch. So you don't have to add anything to her voice. You don't have to affect it. You don't have to add any effects to it. Just record her. I mean, if you want to add some reverb or something, Something, that's cool but that's all you really need to do like she's perfect as a singer so i don't like that they messed with her voices her voice a little bit in this but even with messing with her voice it's just so good that it just still leaks through there's so much depth and emotion and power her going in and out of whatever that was that final note i mean it literally makes the hair stand up on my head on my arms on my body like if there was ever proof that you needed that she was not a human, that she was not mortal, it's this part. Well, there's actually a lot. The big high note of All By Myself, the way she holds the note in the French medley during the Accord de Stade. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but that concert that we all have on DVD. She's just the perfect singer. So I, I can talk about her for hours, as you know. I love this performance. I love the dress. I love the way that she just, of course, emotes. I love the power and the fire and the passion that she sings with because she always does. I love the connection she has with the guy with the, I forget his name, but the guy that's wearing the white makeup with the bald head and like, you know, he puts the his hand out in the rose. Like, I love their interaction. I love that she reaches out to them. It's just so cute. Cute. Like I, she's just, I mean, we've all seen the behind the scenes of the DVD. She loves her team. She loves the dancers. She loves the musician. She loves all the technicians. They're like a big family. And so even when they're performing, they're not really breaking character, but we can still kind of see that very real, like, you know, camaraderie and that the, the chemistry that they all have together. It's just, it always warms my heart. I love even like during I'm Alive when she's like, Hey girlfriend, Oh, I'll talk to you after the show. Right. She's just so cute. So I love this performance. It reminds me of the days I don't want to get too okay the days when we would go be able to go to Vegas to see her whenever we wanted uh multiple times a week if we wanted if we had the money to do it uh, but she was just always there and she was a stability for us she was a consistency for us and so whenever I watch this and I see the inside of the Coliseum inside of the, you know Caesar's Palace I, I just get all of the feels because it takes me back there I would go to Vegas several times a year to see her for many years so yeah, this was a, a nice treat and I really thank you all for hanging out with me and 
reliving this because I'm sure we all watch it like all the time, right? If you enjoyed this video and you have not yet subscribed to me, please, 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 I'm not afraid to beg, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button and drop me a comment. Oh, and ring the bell and let me know if you are a Celine Dion fan, if you love this song, I Surrender, if you, tell me what your other favorite Celine Dion songs are. What would you like to see me do a reaction to? I want to hear all about it. Till next time, please take care of yourselves and one another. I love you so much. God bless you and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!